Hi everyone, welcome back to another Let's Edit video. Today we're going to take a look at the photo that you see on the screen. Um, it's an ocean shot. There's some interest here in the foreground, but um, as you'll notice uh, throughout this edit, what I'm going to kind of do is change how this particular area of the photograph down by where this post is. It's all kind of, you know, shadowy and dark, whereas up here towards the left-hand side, which is where the sun actually is coming from is really uh, kind of blown out and uh, overexposed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the graduated filters here in a way that we haven't done quite yet in the Let's Edit series. And I'm going to quickly just drop in three of them. Um, one from the top left, one from the top right, and one from the bottom here. And now as I adjust these, you'll see what I'm kind of doing. I'm going to be dropping the one from the top left down about um, maybe about three stops or so and I'm going to drop the one on the top right down about maybe a stop and a half to two stops and somewhere around there. And then this one that came in from the bottom I'm actually going to leave as uh, about plus 1.5 stops or so. So that's already starting to look uh, a lot better than what we had. But the next thing I'm going to do is come over here to the crop and a crop tool, and I'm going to crop down to a 16 by 9 crop, and I'm going to just kind of fix the angle of the photo and kind of crop in here a little bit. Uh, what I'm basically doing with this is just kind of removing the very uninteresting sky and drawing our attention even more so on this post. So now. After um, I've laid in my gradient filters and um, cropped it down, I'm going to come down here to the basic tab and I'm just going to drop the overall exposure just a touch, maybe a quarter of a stop, a third of a stop, something like that, just to kind of bring the details back in. Um, you know, you could adjust your gradient filters to do the same thing, but I'm just going to do the whole photograph 0.3 minus and then I'm going to add some contrast. Now, I'm not going to touch the highlight slider, but I'm, I am going to come down here and add a little bit of shadow detail, and what you'll see is that'll start to bring color back, or bring these uh, wave action, bring this wave action really white, and that's what we're going to kind of want. We want this to be really white here. Um, so I'm going to go right about here or so. Um, the white slider does a little bit for me, maybe just uh, plus 30 or so. And then I'm going to come down to the clarity slider, and now you might think that I might be wanting to add a little bit of detail, um, but what I'm actually going to do is drop the clarity, and what that ends up doing is kind of creating more of a blur to this water, which is what I'm really trying to go for here. Kind of get the motion um, really blurred in and stuff. Now one thing I don't like is this left hand corner here, but I don't want to crop down too much because then you'll start to lose the shoreline. So what I found that works out really well is to actually grab your cloning tool and come in and just pretend that this wave goes all the way to the edge of the frame by just kind of painting in with your clone tool here. So we're just going to do this really quickly here. Uh, it'll be really rough, but it'll get the point across. You just paint in, um, and you want to follow the lines that are already there. So this white line is a good example. See how I just painted in across that, and it just goes off the screen as if the wave went off beyond what my camera could capture. So now one last thing that I'm going to do. Um, there's two versions of this photo that I really liked uh, as I was kind of practicing to do this Let's Edit and figure out what I was going to do for you today. Um, one version is this color version, but I did come down to this HSL tab in saturation and I dropped the blue saturation down quite a bit and I brought the orange saturation up a little bit. And what that really does is bring this post really out into the middle of the photograph here and kind of really show us where we're going with it. Now the other edit, which I think actually works a lot better, is just to come up and try a black and white edit altogether. I really like the black and white of this and um, you know you could come over to your gradient filters here again graduated filters and you could add a little bit more um, of a dark darkening effect by dropping the exposure even a little further on these two 
You could even bring another one in from the top and drop that down just a little bit to kind of really try and harness this uh, effect of really controlling where the viewer's eye goes. You can come in with your adjustment brush even and paint in on your post here. And we're going to drop the exposure back down to regular. But what you can really do is you can add some clarity. Uh, you can add some contrast here. You may want to add a little bit of shadow detail just to bring it back in. But, you know, you get the point. You can really um, create the photograph that you're trying to create. And it's all really up to you behind the scenes here. Just a matter of, you know, learning the tricks and knowing what you're going to do. So anyway, this is my final image here and this was where I started. Um, I hope you liked this edit. Uh, please let me know in the comments below what you liked. If you have any requests for um, types of things you're trying to figure out in Lightroom, please let me know. I'd, I'd be happy to do a video on just about anything Lightroom can do. So if there's something you want to do, let me know and I'll work on getting it out to you. Uh, that being said, I'll be back next week with another Let's Edit video, so I hope you'll tune in then. Thank you for watching. Please click the like button below and please subscribe if this is your first visit to my channel. Have a great one. See you next week. Bye for now.